Pluto's recently uncovered subsurface ocean could be home to alien life. According to new research, the study suggests that the ocean beneath the heart-shaped region of Pluto known as Sputnik Planitia is laden with ammonia. The pungent, colorless liquid is described by researchers as syrupy. The findings raise the possibility that more subsurface oceans harboring alien life may be discovered as worlds beyond our solar system are explored. The research is based on data from NASA's New Horizons space craft and its July 2015 flyby of Pluto. New Horizons has detected ammonia as a compound on Pluto's big moon, Charon, and on one of Pluto's small moons, so it's almost certainly inside Pluto, said William McKinnon, professor of Earth and Planetary Sciences in Arts and Sciences at Washington University in St. Louis. What I think is down there in the ocean is rather noxious, very cold, salty and very ammonia-rich, almost a syrup. It's no place for germs, much less fish or squid or any life as we know it, he added. But as with the methane seas on Titan, Saturn's main moon, it raises the question of whether some truly novel life forms could exist in these exotic cold liquids. Professor McKinnon recently led a study on Sputnik Planitia's churning nitrogen ice surface that appeared this past June in the journal Nature. He also co-authored the recently released study about the orientation and gravity of Pluto caused by the dwarf planet's 600-mile-wide sub surface ocean. The idea that bodies of Pluto's scale, of which there are more than one out there in the Cooper Belt, they could all have these kinds of oceans, but they'd be very exotic compared to what we think of as an ocean, said Professor McKinnon. Life can tolerate a lot of stuff. It can tolerate a lot of salt, extreme cold, extreme heat, etc. But I don't think it can tolerate the amount of ammonia Pluto needs to prevent its ocean from freezing. Ammonia is a superb antifreeze. Not that ammonia is all bad. On Earth, microorganisms in the soil fix nitrogen to ammonia, which is important for making DNA and proteins and such. If you're going to talk about life in an ocean that's completely covered with an ice shell, it seems most likely that the best you could hope for is some extremely primitive kind of organism. It might even be precellular, like we think the earliest life on Earth was. The new research examines the creation of the massive basin that includes Sputnik Planitia, which is says is most likely the result of massive Cooper Belt object striking Pluto more than 4 billion years ago. The ocean was lifted by the collapse of the huge crater, which, combined with surface nitrogen ice filling the hole, caused Pluto to tip on its axis. However, the study argues that the ocean uplift won't last if warm water ice can flow in the same way that glaciers move on Earth. But with enough ammonia in the water, it can remain as a syrupy liquid even at temperatures as low as minus 145 Fahrenheit, meaning that the uplifted ocean can remain permanent. All of these ideas about an ocean inside Pluto are credible, but they are inferences, not direct detections, said Professor McKinnon. If we want to confirm that such an ocean exists, we will need gravity measurements or subsurface radar sounding, all of which could be accomplished by a future orbiter mission to Pluto. It's up to the next generation to pick up where New Horizons left off. Last month, two research papers revealed that Pluto's icy heart may be hiding a subsurface ocean. Based on observations from NASA's New Horizons probe, the research claimed that a frozen nitrogen pileup in the dwarf planet's iconic heart-shaped region may have altered Pluto's tilt. This caused its spin to change which may have also created cracks and tensions in the crust of the dwarf planet that point towards the presence of a hidden sea which scientists have previously said may host alien life. With its ocean covered by so much ice, Pluto is not a prime candidate for life, added Massachusetts Institute of Technology planetary scientist Richard Benzel, another of the researchers. But Benzel added that one is careful to never say the word impossible. Liquid water is considered one of the essential ingredients for life. The discovery was made through an analysis of images and data collected by NASA's New Horizons spacecraft which flew past Pluto and its entourage of moons in July 2015. It shows that nature is more creative than we are able to imagine, which is why we go and explore, Binsel said. We see what nature is capable of doing. Despite being about 40 times farther from the Sun than Earth, Pluto has enough radioactive heat left over from its formation 4.6 billion years ago to harbor liquid water. Pluto has enough rock that there's quite a lot of heat being generated, and an ice shell a few hundred kilometers 
kilometers thick is quite a good insulator, Nimo said. So a deep subsurface ocean is not too surprising, especially if the ocean contains ammonia, which acts like an antifreeze. Scientists made the discovery as they were trying to figure out why a 621-mile-wide impact basin known as Sputnik Planitia, which contains the curious heart-shaped region, was located in its present position near Pluto's equator. Scientists such as physicist Brian Cox suggest that if Pluto does have an ocean beneath its surface, there could be a chance that alien life lurks beneath the ice. His comments made last year come after the first historic flyby of the dwarf planet by New Horizons, which uncovered huge glaciers and mountains made of water ice. These features hint at the possibility of subterranean seas on the dwarf planet warm enough for organic chemistry to thrive, said Cox. The probe showed you that there may well be a subsurface ocean on Pluto. Cox told the Times. This means if our understanding of life on Earth is even slightly correct that you could have living things there.